Hey guys, it's Monty. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to share with you a couple more of the dies that I've been playing with from the October release from Scrap Diva Designs. Um, here is Erica's information. That's the website. And then her social media back here. Um, so yeah, make sure you follow along, check out, see what everybody else is making. Um, I have a discount code if you decide to purchase anything it will save you some money. It's polka 10 It will also be listed you know, in the description box. I will link Erica's shop and then also the um, Links to the dies so they're easy to find if you decide you want any of these So first off, let me show you um, There is this one Which is called the double layer rosette so let me these don't go with my project. They're just some samples that I was making just so you could see what they kind of look like. So this is the small one. There's two different sizes. So this is the small one that I'm using. And so it turned out really cute. It makes it really pretty, not just rosette, but it makes, looks, you know, looks like a flower also. So this is two layers. I, I didn't, I should have did a different, um, should have done a different, um, color for the second layer so you could have saw the difference but this is what it looks like all layered up I just put some put some tool in between the two layers then I put this um, eyelash trim around the top one and then I put this for the center so I think it turned out really cute so that's what that one looks like and then the next one is also the, the small size but I did it differently so this one I put the um, this piece in the back rather than on top and then also the reason it looks different is um, rather than cutting rather than I rather than putting two of these together I only I put one so this one has one and so it's of course more you know uh, unfolded than this one so this is this one is using two put together so that shows you the difference and then you know, you could put this on top like this. I thought it looked really cool sticking out from behind. But it gave it a really cool look. So anyway, and like I say, these are both the small size. This is the bigger size here. And of course, you could do in between and just, you can always, if these are bigger, you can, you know, cut off and make it, you know, if you want just a little bit bigger than this or something like that, you could always, you can always trim down to make the size that you want. So that's what those look like. Okay, and then I used, um, the next dice that I used was this Darling Hedgehog Mini Album. So it has all the pieces, uh, all the layering pieces and outline. It has uh, pieces for the eyes, nose, uh, feet, arms, um, or hands, I guess you'd say. Feet, hands, and then there's a bow for the hair if you want. So really cute. So let me show you what I made. So I decided to do something different. Um, so what I made was I made mine a Z fold. So here, rather than um, doing any kind of tabs or rings or binding, I just decided to make mine a Z fold. Um, <clears throat> cute little. Um, mini album okay so I didn't decorate it a ton because I didn't want especially like a charm or something like that that would be heavier to you know pull it over because you can just leave this displayed like this and it just it's it's just really cute to to display it like that so anyway I just decorated the front so here you got your ear pieces here's your face piece um, mouth nose eyes I layered up you get like the one piece and then the you know like a little highlight and then I layered up another like a white one behind just to give it a little bit of eyeballs more eyeballs so you got your feet I mean your hands your feet this heart comes with it also okay and then this this is the bow that comes with it and so you got this brown outer layer that's your base layer and then this um, white and kind of mustard color is the second layer that's stitched and then you got your third layer right here that is more, um, you know, more defined. And then you could either have this as a border or so you can either, like this is the plain piece. 
it cuts this out too so you could either put something plain in here or put a different color in here or you can just use the frame you know the outside of it if you want to decorate I think I did that on one of the pages so you'll see that okay then I used um, this one of these flowers I just hauled from um, Timu and then I used some of the pieces from this set which is called the acorn mini album so this set comes with a bunch of different leaves. So there's, I think there's eight leaves, two different styles. Um, and then it also comes with the word, hello, fall, um, and with the outline piece to it also. So this is the fall piece. I didn't use the hello, just the fall. And I just, it fit right perfectly inside that heart there. Cause the heart comes with the, um, the hedgehog. I don't remember, can't remember if I mentioned that, but the heart does come with the hedgehog, many of them. Okay, and then he's, here's all the, um, leaves that come with the acorn okay so i think that turned out really pretty and then so then you flip it over so here's another one another page and they're just minimally decorated like i said i don't want to get them too heavy and plus once i put pictures in i don't know about you guys but i decorate more once i put the pictures in because a lot of times I put um, embellishments and stuff on top of my pictures and corners and different stuff that, you know, like covering up, um, you know, kind of like space that's just in there that you don't really need, but, you know, you want to cover it up. So a lot of times we'll do that. So I just put minimal stuff. Um, this is just some uh, chipboard and um, ephemera pieces. Um, this, the collection that I'm using that I made this out of is from Simple Stories. It's called Harvest Market. I love this fall collection because it has so many pretty colors in it, not just, you know, like brown and orange and yellow. <laughs> so, okay, then this page, <clears throat> um, I had these two layers, not the third, not this inner layer, not the defining layer. This um, and then this one I cut the same stitched layer again and then I just cut it in half and attached along the edges and made it a pocket so that I can just um, I took some cut aparts from the collection sewed it across the top and then those just stick in there to add some pictures into plus a picture can go under here okay and then I've got some stickers back here some chipboard and then a flower I had in my stash that I slightly decorated it with okay and then if you turn it over this way, this is the back page. Okay, so here's this one. I just cut out the base piece and I didn't use the stitching layer. And then I just use this, the outline from the, this piece here that does all the, the definition. Um, I just use the outlining piece of it on top of the, you know, the plain background. And then I cut out my feet and hands and everything. I didn't mount any of these up on foam just because I didn't want a ton of <clears throat> um, dimension. And then I decided to go ahead and just, this is a piece, just a ephemera piece from the collection. I put a cute little tab on there, I stapled it on there, and then just a uh, flower in my stash. And then this just tucks in here. So his feet and hands hold this little thing so I can uh, journal on it I can put a picture on the back you know whatever I can put a picture on the front just little little pictures whatever okay so that's the back page so it looks like this okay now when I look at the back side of it here is this one so this one's just a piece of ephemera that I just attached glued on the bottom and then a little ephemera piece again. And then these are some of the cut apart. Just tuck down in here to um, add pictures or journaling, whatever I decide to do, and stick in there. And then also, you know, more pictures back behind there. Okay. And then on this page, <clears throat> I decided to cut out one of the scenes. So I um, mounted that on there and I didn't do the defining page. And I didn't do the defining layer on this one either. Um, and then I, cut a piece of acetate you know I cut the this layer out and then I just cut it off right there and made a pocket okay so then um, I put some I had this little lacy thing ribbon and then I had I strung this other piece of this pink um, ribbon through there through the holes and so then I got my pocket here so I can add 
pictures and we you know whatever all else I want to add in there but for now I just left it so you can see the whole scene <laughs> and then um, then we got some more pieces from the collection added on top and then I just made a bow and put it there on the side okay so then now this page flips up and um, this is just a, a uh, ephemera piece I stuck on there I didn't put any dimension on it just because um, I've already got this layered up. This one I did the base layer of this off-white and then the um, defining layer in the same color but I also cut it out of foam so this is already mounted up on foam so I didn't want to you know do a whole much more um, you know dimension on on that so that it would close well if I decided to you know close it up and stuff so um, so then inside here um, I have this pumpkin piece and then a piece of um, chipboard right here that I put on top of this piece of ribbon that I have here on the bottom. I stapled on the bottom so that you could lift this up and under there is another place for photos and I just um, I made that you know put that in brown and I didn't put anything in here to decorate I just I'll decide that when I put the pictures in so anyway for only three you know the three <laughs> things it has quite a bit of real estate and then it just folds back up like that so again it just flip open flip open like a z okay and then when you look on the back side you've got this back side and then this side that i made flip up okay so fun i think it turned out super cute i don't know what do you guys think anyway that's the dies that i used um I think I did show you, yeah, I sure I did this one that I used some of the stuff on, on the, the Acorn mini album, okay? I didn't, I mean, it'd be great to add some of these um, rosettes and stuff in there. Um, I guess I could add something on the front, um, so, but I don't want anything on the center to make it more uh, bulky and, and heavy, because like I said, I'd like to display some of my albums, you know, out like that. And it just stands there so perfectly, you know, on a shelf or whatever, so on, a, on your desk or, you know, that kind of thing. So makes a great gift also. So there's my um, Hedgehog mini album. He's so cute. And my double layer rosettes, must have. Um, I showed you last time the other things I made. I can give you another quick peek just in case anybody hasn't seen them. Um, this is one that I have left. This is one of the Shaker Bows from this new release. Love this. This is the large one. It had the, this one I also showed you before, were the um, the thankful words. Number two, it says, it says thankful, grateful, and blessed. I don't have the thankful right here right now because I already used it. And then, oh, I forgot. I, had, I don't think I shared this. Yet. I think I showed a picture on Instagram, but I didn't share this. Okay, here's where I used my thankful. I use this die set, which is called, I forgot I even made that. that. <laughs> okay, this one is called A2 Card Box Add-on Branches. So this is meant to layer on the top of that box, the A2 card box. But it also makes a great card. I mean, how simple. I took, um, here's my card base. I didn't do anything in the inside yet. So this one is a bigger size. Um, I think this is a, I can't remember, five by seven maybe, <coughs> card base that I put it on. Um, but I cut it down a little bit just so it would be even around all the sides. Anyway, <laughs> here's, the, here's the frame part that comes right here, okay? And then you also get these little sprigs right here that you can layer on. I didn't layer them around here, but I did layer them on my little um, you know, a little, uh, cluster right there. <laughs> so anyway, I think it made a really cute card. So I wanted this kind of decor, this decorative paper that was back here to show, show through a bit. So I, I've got some chipboard here and I put on foam. Here's the thankful word, stitched through it, um, mounted that. And then I put the tree over it and some ribbon, another little um, flower down here, flower in the center. And then I used this circle die. Um, I believe that was from the Essentials, Erica's Essentials circle. There's a circle and a 
oval set that I have. So I use that there. And then I use smaller one to make the circle um, out of pink. And then I use the stamp set. I forgot that I used the stamp set on that too. I wasn't very well prepared, was I? Okay, Farm Fresh Pumpkins. I used this one on this card. And I embossed it in this really cool um, embossing powder that's got like a couple colors mixed together. And it gives it a really neat look. So that's how I stamped that. And then these, these acorns, it is part of, what is the acorns part of? It is part of, let me find it, let me find it. Um, it is part of the fall jelly tote. So the jelly tote that has the um, little acorns in it. Well, it also comes with a couple acorns here. Um, she's got an acorn shaker set, but I didn't receive that, so I just used these that came in this set. Okay. And I think the I think the shaker set has like three different sizes, small, medium, and large of the shakers. So I just cut mine out a couple times in a different colors, and then I just layered them up with foam. So here's my cute little acorns, and then little sprigs tucked in there, and another little flower. This is a little sprig thing of I don't know even know what those are called but anyway I just always stick them in places where I do flowers and different stuff like that there's a little bow from a different set that I can't remember which I use but you know you could use any bow so I think it really turned out really cute this paper here is a slick glitter uh, paper that I have that I've been having for sale a lot um, I had a bunch of this and this is the copper color so I thought it was perfect to go with this and so I went match the copper with the you know light orange and the light pink because um, this this set here this card here is using <coughs> um, from Frank, Frank Garcia it's an old collection um, I can't remember what it's called but anyway that's that's what I use on this one this isn't the same collection as this so but I think it turned out super cute it makes this frame thing makes a great card, not just to add on to your box, but to make a card out of so easily also. And you could use it for all different seasons. It could be a winter season and cut it out of white. It could be, uh, you know, something for Halloween. It could be a spring one with different pretty flowers and, you know, with the branches and flowers hanging from it. It could be anything. So super handy. And I love the little sprigs that come with it that you can add in everywhere. So. <coughs> I didn't show that last time. This is what I showed last time, just a quick peek. This is the beginnings of my Acorn mini album. Um, I haven't gotten any farther on that because I started working on the um, on the hedgehog because he was so cute. So anyway, this is what I'm working on so far. Um, if you guys have any questions, um, leave them in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of the hedgehog. Um, and my idea of having the Z fold. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I will have everything linked, like I already said. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.